Hello guys and welcome to the series of web concepts and in today's video we are going to look at how we can find out the private IP address and the public IP address of our system. So let's begin. Before we jump to the terminal, let's see the setup that is required for the purpose of this video. There can be two different situations that you might be having. The first one is that you are having the broadband connection for the internet connectivity and the second one is that you don't have any broadband connection but you have a smartphone that has the internet connectivity and has the feature of hotspots. Now let's look at the setup for these two situations one by one. If you have the broadband then you can connect your devices to the router and you need to make sure that your connected devices are able to connect to the internet. Now in case if you don't have the broadband but you have a smartphone that has the internet connectivity then you can enable the hotspot feature of your phone and with that hotspot you can connect your devices. So in this case your phone will act as a wireless access point like the router does. In my situation I do have a broadband connection so I will be connecting my devices to the router and also since it is a home router then internally the pad that is port address translation will occur in which our router will only have a single public IP address. Now let's jump to the terminal to find the private IP address of my system. Right. So currently I am on my system and to find the private IP address I can provide the command here ifconfig. So in this case it will give me various interfaces and since currently I am connected to the wireless LAN interface so my equivalent private IP is 192.168.1.7 these private IPs are assigned by the routers or given by the router. Now I also have a smartphone that is connected to the same router and to find its private IP address we can go to the settings then about phone and after that status where our private IP address will be defined. Now just like these two devices there are other devices also in my home that is connected to the same router. To list out all of these connected devices I am going to log in to my router through the web UI. So let me write down here 192.168.1.1. This is the private IP address of my router. So it will ask me for the username and password. So username is admin and password I can't say right. Okay so let it get logged in and here I can move to the home networking which will provide me list of all the devices that are connected to the router along with their status. Status will be either active or inactive. Active means that at this particular moment these devices are connected to the home router but inactive means that it was connected previously but at the very moment these devices are not connected to the router. The important one for us is the IPv4 address and these IPv4 addresses are the private IP address of those system, right? Currently our system was Linux. So this was the system. The name of my system is Markiv. And currently if you see the private IP address for this system is 192.168.1.7 and the same has been defined there. So if you want to list down all the private IP addresses that are connected to your routers, then you can simply log into your router and list down those connected devices. But what about the IP address of the router? How we can see its private IP address and the router's public IP address? For that we are required to log in to our router via CLI and there we can run the same command that is ifconfig that will list down various interfaces and along with the IPs. But before we try to connect through CLI you need to perform few operation via GUI that is you need to go to the security and then the access control. In the access control in the LAN part you have to enable the SSH connection. So by default it may be denied so you need to set it to the allow only then you will be able to do SSH on your router. And the second thing is that you need to know the SSH password of your router. I am currently using the Airtel broadband which is powered by the Nokia and the default SSH password for these routers are admin. But if you are using some other routers then you have to find the SSH password 
either via online or by talking to your ISP, right? So let me log in to my router via CLI. So for that, I'm going to use the command SSH admin at the rate 192.168.1.1. That is the private IP address of my router, right? It will ask me for the password. Then again, the password is admin, which is the default password. And currently I had not changed it. Okay, so I had logged in here and in this particular case, if you give here question mark, then it will list out what are the various commands that we can use. So if I write here enable, then again, I'm going to give here question mark. It will give me again list of commands that can be run. So currently I need to gain the shell. So I'm going to provide the command here as shell, right? This will prompt me for another password for gaining the shell access. Again, there are default password that are available for your routers or you have to connect to your ISP to find that password. For Airtel Broadbands, I will provide you a link in the description that will give you all the default passwords. So let me provide here the password. So now I have the shell access and here if I give the command ifconfig, it will give me various interfaces. So let me go up and at the very first interface that is the BR0 you will see that the private IP address of our router is defined that is 192.168.1.1 but our router also have the public IP address so if we come down then in this particular interface our public IP address is defined so our router will have multiple IP addresses but the important ones are the private IP address and the public IP address now if I go to the web browser and if I write here, what is my IP, then it is going to give me the same public IP address as it is defined here, right? So what exactly is happening? Your devices, for example, currently my Linux system in its own do not have any public IP address, but when it tries to communicate in the internet, then our router changes source IP address from private IP address to the public IP address and it's sent to the internet and same particular public IP address is being shown. Not just my Linux system, but any devices that is currently connected to this router will show the same public IP address. For example, if I write what is my IP address from my smartphone, then you will see that same public IP address is being shown. So our connected devices with the routers in its own do not have a public IP address but whenever they make any connection to the internet, then our router change their source IP address with the public IP address. And since currently in our home routing, PAT, that is port address translation is used. So all the connected devices are going to give the same public IP address when I am providing there what is my IP. So in a very general term, if somebody asks us what is our private IP address, then we can run those command that is ifconfig for Linux or ipconfig for the Windows system to find the private IP address and somebody is asking about the public IP address then either we can log in to the router and find its public IP address or in the web browser we can simply write what is my IP that will also give the public IP address. So that's all for today guys. I hope you liked the video. If you have any doubt, please comment it down. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.